Welcome back to Terraria. Um, important thing to note is that when you restart uh, playing Terraria, you start at your spawn point. You don't return to where you left the game. So uh, you can't, you know, you can't stop off in the middle of a cave or something and then expect to uh -oh, start off where you were unless you you can make a spawn point in um, you know anywhere you want but it gets difficult in certain places always close your door by the way monsters can get in if the door is open for obvious reasons and someone um, reminded me if you want to make a house an actual house it needs a, ta a table and a chair I almost said a table and a tear um, oh right and weird thing to break um, furniture you gotta use a hammer oh hey it's a falling star I was gonna explain those um, alright I have a sword now swords deal a lot more damage obviously unfortunately you have to constantly click to attack with a sword so uh, honestly I usually skip the normal weapons because I hate click spamming and it's really damn annoying. It's also very hard to see right now. Um, so I just have to constantly keep clicking. Whereas if I just use this, I can just hold down the button. And honestly, since this is faster, I'm just going to keep using this. Um, there are a few weapons where you can just hold down the button to attack. I end up using those as soon as I get them. Ouch. Doesn't matter. Um, so yeah. I will be making that many weapons, and I'll probably be ignoring most of the weapons I do find. Because they're annoying as hell to use. Like, really. See, I really wish most everything just functioned where you could just hold down the click button and attack. But yeah, to uh, be considered a house for NPCs, you need a table and a chair. So now, this should meet all the requirements so an NPC could move into this house. The annoying thing is that the guide over here, he also counts as an NPC, so he will move into your first house and generally make a douche of himself. The guide does actually have some useful info, I just never bothered to learn all of it, because the, the first few things he said initially were pretty useless, and I just gave up. And there's no structure to what he tells you, you just have to randomly listen and hope that you learn something important. So, a more structured tutorial would really be helpful, but uh, I didn't really need it because I'm one of the types of people that like I like to learn on my own. Uh, there really should be something more structured for people that, you know, need to learn stuff. If I hadn't played Minecraft and had a vague idea that this was similar in nature, um, I would have been pretty fucking lost, so that would have been good. Um... Uh, sim um, a simple way to deal with the tutorial is to just, you know, give uh, little pop-ups like the first time you get near a tree. It's like, oh, hey, you can use your axe. Press this button and then hold click on the tree and you get wood. And then when you open the menu, it's like, oh, hey, this is your crafting thingy. You know, just explain features as they, you know, occur, as the player has a chance to use them. Also, it's daytime again, I think. The music changes when it's daytime and nighttime, so... That's your cue. I'm gonna die. Oh, hey, food. These mushrooms, uh, you can heal a little bit. I think it's one heart. Also, annoyingly enough, you can click to select the item. Um, I never do that intentionally, but sometimes when I'm clicking something near the items, I accidentally select items. Or if I click in the window. Oh, these are pots. I don't think you saw these yet. Pots hold stuff. Um, they're found inside caves and lots of other places. Pretty much caves and dungeon type things have pots. Um, they have money. Sometimes they have torches or other, um, you know, generally useful items. What's inside the pots depends on what biome you're in. Currently, I'm in the default forest biome. Uh, they have different items when they're in deep caves, or if they're in a dungeon, or, you know, wherever. Also, shouldn't this axe deal more damage than the pickaxe? I 
I really don't get that, especially since the pickaxe is so much faster. It's just sort of dumb. Also, slimes are not hostile in the daytime until you attack them, so... You can just let them go on, but... Once you hit... Ow. Once you hit them, they will constantly follow you. So, basically what I need to do now is find a cave. I didn't really see many over that way. Nothing of any size. So let's try this way, I suppose. Also, neat thing about the grass, the grass just continues to grow, so this patch that I flattened out here, that will actually grow. See? That grows over with grass, and then eventually the taller grass grows in, or you get some flowers, stuff like that. The plant life's really cool. Um, also, you notice these vines, these grow if there's an overhang with grass on it. I really like the, the vines, they're a neat touch. The trees, I don't quite get how the trees grow. Um, you notice these acorns? I've planted these, and the trees I plant don't tend to grow. At least I've never noticed them growing. I never tried very hard, because, you know, I, I never really needed more wood than the world gave me, so... You know, was never a problem. Oh, there we go. Minerals. Hey, copper. That down there is copper. Also, to place torches... I don't think it... Did I go over torches or not? To place torches, you just click. Bloop. And yeah, they light up stuff. You need to use a lot le a lot fewer torches than you do in Minecraft. You know, in Minecraft, you need to place them like every goddamn foot. Basically. And this, I just find myself needing a lot fewer of them. It may also be because of the 2D nature of the game. But yeah, we got some copper. Um, I'm also... Oh, not stuck in the pit. Oh, right, I needed to make a furnace. Oh, I already got some copper before. Which I don't remember already. Um, I need to make a furnace. I forget exactly what I need to make it, but... I'm gonna guess I need a bunch of stone. Because it's made out of stone. That makes sense, right? Stone thing requires stone. Let's... Actually, fuck it, let's just mail the crafting table here. I'm lazy about my crafting tables even in this game. This is why I usually end up building my base near a big cave system. Just so I can... get right to work for my... thing. Huh. Oh well. I'll have to look up that recipe for the... cookie thingy. The, uh, furnace, yes. As you can see, the vines can grow inside the caves, which I think is a really cool touch. You don't get grass in the caves, but you do get the vines. And I think it's cooler that way. I really like the look of the vines. Well, the grass grows, but not like the taller grass. Because the grass grows sort of interestingly. Also, we... Okay. You do take falling damage in this game. But it's pretty high threshold before you start to take damage. The problem is just that when you do start to take falling damage, you take a lot. Like, generally when I take falling damage, it's over 100. And I only have 100 health at the start, so... It can kill you pretty easily. Also, at the start, those pots can be pretty valuable. Not that valuable, but they're really easy to find, and... They usually have money or torches, stuff that'll help you go on. Ow. I'm also not used to needing torches anymore, honestly. I, uh-oh. I can't make it back from this jump. I can... <laughs> Silver. Worth it. Worth every penny. That I did not spend, because I didn't spend any money here. But whatever. But I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, um... Oh yeah, a little iron. To get back up, I'll just make a tower out of wood or something. Actually, probably, yeah, I have enough dirt. But yeah, I'm not used to using torches because I have a magic item. Oh, hey, mud. Um, I have a magic item that, in my other save file, that... Basically a big ball of light that follows me around everywhere. That means I don't have to screw around with 11 billion torches. So I just never bother with them anymore. Also, sand falls, interestingly. Um, it used to fall, like, ridiculously easily. Like, I could break 
Here, I could break this at the base of the this sand tower, and all of those would break instantly. And I could collect all of them, the sand tower is gone. In the latest patch, they changed that, so... You know, it's still pretty easy to mine sand if you really want to, but it doesn't break away, like, instantly. I could make an entire desert disappear if I was at the base of it in, like, a minute. Less than that. It was, like, pathetically easy. Come here, iron. Ouch. Wait, did you just do 20 damage to me? What did 20 damage to me? Go away. Yeah, so... Using a weapon really can't help, but it's a pain in the ass, so I just don't. I kind of wouldn't recommend bothering with them either. Unless you like, you know, repetitive stress disorders. Ow! Oh my god. Crap. Um. Well. I just got knocked into a pit by a... That's called a burrowing monster. It's a giant earthworm, I believe. Ugh. I am so used to being able to swim. There is an item called a flipper that lets you swim, so you can get out of that pretty easy. Without it, water can be difficult. Also, torches work underwater if you're carrying them, which is... Despite not making sense, it really is nice. Being completely in the dark underwater really sucks. Oh my god, pain. Food? I have food, yes. Right. Where are you? Come out, fiend! Oh my god. I'm gonna die. May as well get all the copper I can before I die. Do not worry about dying at the beginning of the game. Just get items. Don't bother about the money. If you're gonna just go into caves, get some items, die, and then leave, it will make your life a lot easier. Ironically enough, dying makes your life easier. But hey, it's a video game. A little bit more. You can't place torches underwater, of course. It's just nice that you can use them to see a little bit. So otherwise, there's no non-magical way to see under ground. Also, cobwebs, very valuable. Because they let you make beds. And beds let you set your spawn point. And... Hmm. I forget how many cobwebs it is to a piece of silk. I think it's 10. I think you need 50 cobwebs to make a, your first bed. Also, we've getting a dead end here. Unless there's something under that water, but I don't really want to find out. Oh! Ooh. Yeah, a good way to find new chambers and stuff is just carry a torch around. That way you don't have to place them constantly. Pretty much that's the benefit of the torches in this game over Minecraft. You don't have to place them just to be able to see. You can just carry them. I'm sorry if I'm pissing someone off by... I know there are people who get pissed at the comparison to Minecraft, but deal with it. I would have compared uh, Minecraft to Infiminer, or whatever it's called, if I had known that existed. It's basically the game that Minecraft is based off of. Well, took some very, very heavy inspiration from. But I had never heard of that until someone compared Minecraft to it in defense of this game. You know, me saying that, you know, it's really based on Minecraft, you know, that's not an insult or anything. Which definitely seems to be true. Also, be careful when you fall. It's not quite as deadly as in Minecraft, where you will die pretty easily, but... Uh, this fall I may not survive. So I bid you all adieu? Okay, no, we're fine. And there's stuff over there. I like stuff. I think we've covered this actually. But I do still like stuff. Just wanted you to know the kind of person I am. The kind of person that likes stuff. Yeah, cobwebs are, oddly enough, a very big reason to go into your first cave. You need a bunch of them. Uh, not, you know, you usually find them in big groups of like 20 or so. But you need 50 for your first bed. Once you get your first bed, you can pretty much go on and. Is there anything past? This? Oh, very good. Um, you know, you can go on to make your first real house. The house I made was just an example. It's 
really pretty useless. And if I was playing on my own, I honestly wouldn't bother with shelter because in this game it's really not that important like it is in Minecraft. Um, I would really rather just die and not waste the time. But, you know, if you want to be all hardcore and not die, I suppose you can build a house. It definitely won't. I will make a real house to keep my storage and my NPCs and all of that crap, but it won't be the one I made there. I always make my... Uh -oh. yeah, these these are going to annoy you until you get a real weapon, which I... Stupid slime. Um, which I'm not going to be able to do yet. Actually, do I have enough iron? Oh, I have enough silver. I'm hmm. actually I don't think I have enough silver for a weapon. I may be able to make a silver pickaxe though, and that is the important thing. First thing, when you get a new mineral, first thing you want always, always get a pickaxe, because it makes everything easier. And at the start, your pickaxe is an okay weapon. You know, at least if you're lazy like me, I. Jeez, getting back up is a pain. Oh, actually, um, better way to handle the platforming in caves is to make these wood platforms. Oh, right. Um, on the crafting screen, to make a bunch of the same thing, just right click. I always forget to do that, but it saves a lot of time. So, yeah. Now I can place these platforms. Why do I want these? Because I can just place a bunch of these. And I can jump under them. And then you can jump back down, so it lets you stand on them, but it doesn't actually obstruct your path. So these are really nice, especially at the start here when you don't have a grappling hook or anything to get around. The grappling hook is a very important item to get. I can't make it yet, though. I need to fight some uh, enemies further down in the caves before I can actually get a grappling hook. But we will, much fun will be had once we get one of those. Also, I do not remember the way out of this cave. I should probably just die. I don't have anything to live for anymore. Because, you know, I don't have anything to not die for more accurately. Though I do have... This is a fair bit of money for a sturdy person. Um, the main reason you want money in the beginning of the game is that once you get 50 pieces of silver here, then a merchant starts to move into your town. And you can't really use the money before at least one of the shopkeeper NPCs moves in. So pretty much your only reason for money now is to get the 50 coins, 50 silver coins, and then wait for the merchant to move in. And then, at that point if you don't buy anything, you know, you don't need to keep the money around, technically. Very good. So yeah, these make great ladders and stuff. Oh, you can just place them right on the background. Uh, this dirt here technically counts as a background. Later on, certain things won't count as a background, even though there's, you know, stuff there. Because this is technically a wall piece. You can place blocks on a wall piece, but you can't place them on, you know, blank nothingness. I don't know, it's nighttime, unfortunately. So we're probably gonna die. Let's place a torch here. Let's go die. Also, to reclaim your torches, you can just right click on them. Oh, hello, demon eye. I'm so dead. Yep, I'm dead. Demon eyes are pretty painful when you start out. Um, they give, they're give a good source of money, though, if you can kill them. All you need is an okay weapon to kill them. Now, let's see if I can craft anything. Um, pretty much the best thing about the crafting thing is that you can just go and see what you can make. There we go. Let's see. And it also shows you what you need to build stuff. Oh, you need 20. I thought it was a lot less. Uh-oh. Door. This is why you close your door. Um, the complexes I'm used to living in uh, don't let monsters in this easily. Also, when a bunch of NPCs move in to live with you, um, the more NPCs around, the lower the spawn rate in the immediate area. So that's good to know. You know, it's helpful. Um, there we go. 
So yeah, the good thing about the crafting system is, once you collect a bunch of stuff at the start, you can just go back to your crafting table and see what you can make. And so, you know, you don't have to look up recipes or anything. Um, for more of the complex recipes, you know, you're going to need guidance to know what the hell to do. Uh, right, an anvil. You also need an anvil to uh, make any tools. Aside from, I don't think you need it for the wooden ones. No, you definitely don't need it for the wooden ones. So, make an anvil. So you need, a, you need five iron to be able to do anything like that. So let's place our anvil. There you go. And... Copper. I don't have enough copper to waste like that. Actually, I kind of do. Average speed. What's? It's only one attack point. That's useless. The copper short, the short sword. Uh, let me show you the wooden one. If there is a wooden one. The short sword's really, 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 really useless. So I don't recommend it at all. Whatever. I'm not gonna waste my copper on it. I am going to make. Is this two defense? Yes, I'm gonna make that. I have a bronze shirt, or copper shirt, actually. So now I actually have a defense, which is very nice. So these zombies deal, what, 13 damage to me? Thir that's, wow, that's a lot more than I thought they did. Um, also, I have two zombies on me. I think that was two zombies. So, yeah. The defense really helps out early on. Well, it helps out in general, but... Your first few bits of armor can really help. Also, there's a recipe you can make with two lenses from the demon eye. Demon eyes drop lenses, but I only have one so far. Also, you can place torches around to light up the ground for nighttime. I usually don't do this, though. Because I like, you know, when I see light, I that's usually an indication that there's either a cave or a, um, what's it called? A shooting star fell down somewhere. And that's important to me. And the, you know, the light is less of an issue. Sorry if this is, like, impossible to see, but it's not too hard to see for me. It's not as bad as Minecraft's darkness. However, I'm gonna die. I just wanted to kill the demon eye. Is that so much? Is murder too much to ask? Some people... <sighs> Alright, so now that we have the anvil and the furnace, our job really is to get a bunch of minerals so that we can make better tools. I got a bunch of copper, so I could have made more copper tools, but I already have the copper pickaxe and the copper axe. Ideally, with a bit more silver, I can make a silver pickaxe. So next episode, we'll be looking for ore, basically. Thanks for watching.